Yes, Mo. Um, I know Philip has made a career of throwing to you know former basketball playing tight ends, but uh, how have you been able to develop a uh, such chemistry with uh, Philip so quickly? Um, shoot, just going out, just working hard every day. I mean, since the day I got back, just getting a bunch of reps at whatever they asked me to do. So um, this week, just had a good week of practice, and we made a bunch of those same plays in practice, and we just try to carry it over to the game. Stephen Holder. Hey Mo, the uh, the interception was what what happened there? Was that just a lack of concentration? And then can you also address coming back from that and Philip continuing to go to you and showing confidence, uh, and then you making good on that? Um, I just gotta extend my hands. I kind of lost it. Like when I turned, I couldn't really see it at first. And by the time I found it, it was already on me, and the defender just made a great play. So. And just coming back from it, um, shoot, just flush it down the toilet. I mean, we were still, as an offense, moving the ball. We moved the ball that drive. Just a bad play. But we can't let that one negative play impact us the rest of the game. So just try to respond from it and just try to make more plays. JoJo Gentry. Hi, Mo. Can you hear me okay? Uh, yeah, a little bit, yeah. Okay. Uh, if you have a hard time hearing me, let me know. Um, I just want to ask, what does this performance today do for your confidence moving forward? Um, I mean, it's, it's just one game, but um, I'm always confident. I'm always confident in myself. So once I heard the news that I was starting, um, it didn't really change my demeanor in any way. I just had to go. It is about work as usual. So, I mean, it was great to go out there and um, have a great day. But at the end of the day, it's just one game, and we know we have higher goals that we want to achieve. Well, last one here, Akeem Glasby again. Yes, Mo, uh, Coach Reich talked about the progression that you've shown uh, throughout your time in, in Indy. What do you feel like your ceiling is as a player? Do you feel like you can develop into a number one type tight end that's a kind of a focal point for an offense? Um, yeah, I definitely feel like I could do that. Um, I've just try to follow um, Jack's lead every day. And up to this point, he's helped me a lot to be ready for a situation like this. He went down and it was just next man up. <laughs> and over the years, I've just gotten accustomed to just um, following his lead. And now um, I got the opportunity today, and I just tried to make the most of it.